This is an advanced training video for the Tenox. We're working with the Ox driver and the field that we're working in today is a thoroughbred farm and it's between a fence line and a polo field. This area would have been hayed in the past and it's probably shale underlay and or probably a fill because it's raised up a little bit and then it's a standard soil conditions for a farm which would be kind of a mix of topsoil and whatever's left over from the various years of working it perhaps some corn different things and there this is a row of 17 stakes out of uh, four sides of the tent the stakes are set up in advance all the way around the tent with the stakes through the stake bar, through the ratchet, and then the one person comes through and sets all the stakes with a five pound sledge. He's installing the farthest stake on the stake bars first, and then he comes back. And the reason for that is because the hydraulic line is on the opposite side of him, and there's a chance that the hydraulic line, if you do the nearest stake first, could get tangled up in the stakes, particularly if it's an inexperienced operator. We're going to do a close-up here about the controls, but let's talk about them. You have the foot controls, where as he goes down, he usually drifts back about four inches. That makes the stake plumb. He keeps the tool plumb by using the left-right control of the joystick, which is the same as dumping a bucket on a bobcat. He uses the forward-back control on the joystick which is the arm up and down. And then the last control is a red button that's on the top of the joystick, which starts the hammer for driving the stakes. As he comes up to the stake, he pushes down, then he starts the hammer, then he pushes down more. When, you're, when you don't have the hammer on, the flow is directed to the arm to push it down. When you have the driver running, the flow is redirected to the hammer and you don't get the down pressure that you would. If you watch what he's doing, he'll press the button before he will push down the joystick. If he was to let go of the button before he let go of the joystick, the wheels would pop up as a function of the arm jumping down. He has two hand positions. One is bracing the heel of his hand at the, at the console that's so that he reduces the reactionary movements on the joystick when he's rolling backwards and forward. And then he moves it up on the joystick when he needs to use the red button for the stake driver. Your stability comes in your movements from learning how to keep your hand from overreacting to the movements. And that's why he moves his hand down to the console as often as he can. We have three more stakes. It was 17 stakes. It was 3 minutes and 50 seconds, and that's going to equate to about 245 stakes per hour if this was in production mode and all the conditions were the same in this, in this tent site. Brian is wearing ear protection in the form of foam fills which are rolled and put into his ear. This is not as loud as an Atlas cop cow because it's surrounded by more metal, but it is required for our employees.